My name is Adrian, I'm an artist represented by State of the Art Gallery in Cape Town. Hello, my name is Claude Chandler. I'm Daniel Hewitt. I'm Daya Hewitt. Hello, uh, Gabby Fine. I'm Grace Cotter. I'm Louis Anders and Diana. My name is Sarah and I'm a sculptor. I'm Tarin. Welcome to my studio. I love to explore and I love to challenge myself and try out new media. Uh, I make the works that I do because uh, I believe that my narrative is important. I've always been painting. Painting is a way of processing a thought pattern. currently doing my Masters in Fine Art Sculpture, working in the mediums of cast glass and bronze. We are all the sum of our experiences, and more than that, how that feels. My journey is to be less consumed with fear, as love is all. Oops. So, I've always been a portrait artist and throughout my studies and growing as an artist I wanted to elevate the portrait to something new, something different. No words. I work with my abstraction into colours, dialogues between marks and energy and watch how the paint behaves and misbehaves. It's, it's an experience on a cellular level, anything but intellectual, so without using your mind. Even in the act of making it, the work is essentially um, a process of transformation and manifestation of something ethereal into the physical form. I live in a time where I can uh, express my story, my experiences, my views on the world. And so I express my work the way that I do because I can. To me, and hopefully to the viewers of the work, uh, the paintings become more like gripping painterly stories. I feel that so much can be said through the power of paint. Um, to me, paint contains a soul, it's emotional, it's seductive, uh, it's got a fragility, the stories are already in there, we just need to find them. The, the method, um, the tactileness of putting paint on canvas. The glass in my work represents the absent and the bronze represents the present and the way that I combine them in the work explores the ways in which this dualism has become no longer, or they have become no longer separate terms, but they become part of each other. The reintegration and the harmony of the polarities. So I'm very focused on reintegrating duality. No work is preconceived. I paint from a place of feeling. The end result, always a surprise. And creating for me is like a meditation. When you create, it draws you into the present moment, which is a very peaceful moment, and you are so connected and so involved in the process. I find it incredibly important for my process to use subject matter that that is generally a commonplace and part of, of my life. My latest paintings of pigeons explore their their nobility and and their importance. Pigeons deserve that that preciousness that still lives so often have afforded throughout history. 
On the other hand, these paintings are purely about the beauty of, of the animals. They are birds that when examined and, and not seen for their, their, their nuisance, they are incredibly varied in, in design and, and they have almost a sense of humour about the manner in which they, they move. I've got two pieces, Geophysiology 1 and 2. Geophysiology is essentially the study of interaction between living organisms on Earth, operating under the hypothesis that Earth itself is a single living organism. In other words, everything's connected. So what is consciousness and how does that portraits, uh, talking about people and personalities and where they come from. So I was taken in uh, neighborhood, so I wanted to talk about where she comes from. I wanted to use the neighborhood inside the portrait and kind of talk about who she is. Kind of. uh, the sitters who are normally strangers to me uh, come into the set studio. It's a very personal situation to be in, it's very private, um, that they tend to open up and discussions happen and as soon as it becomes personal, as soon as that happens, um, the preconceived ideas and notions that I have about the work and what I'm wanting to get out of the session and what I'm wanting the work to be about, it all changes uh, and the work is no longer just mine it becomes a shared experience between us and the end result is almost a conversation in paint. And the works that I have on show with this exhibition comment on this idea of occupying space invisibly where these young people are in these spaces where they shouldn't be, do not do, don't disturb the elders. They're just there and they're not going anywhere and they're going to be comfortable there just saying that young people are present and are buying down. I've always loved computers and the idea of hacking and systems and the, the mechanisms behind it. What I decided to do was merge binary code, which is the core computer language. Just limit myself to numerals or to letters and to form a portrait. And I've been growing and working on the technique ever since. Yeah, that I'm using this abstraction technique to create realistic portraits. So I love that marriage of realism and abstraction. I paint the goings on I observe in the world and juxtapose this to the idea that there must be some other realm, some other good celestial realm that gives us a glimmer into beauty and clarity of ideas and thought. I collect it asked me to discuss the work with him. We walked to it and he said, Oh, Adrienne, I love your flowers. And I, took, I was horrified because there were characters and figures in a landscape. There was not one flower on the painting. So it really is what the viewer brings to the painting. Whole conversations can be had just in a lot of misinterpretations are what I suppose as well. I believe that the viewer is entitled to interpret whatever they want to interpret from my work. I'm just hoping that my work at the very least generates conversation, or whether it be, hmm, that's playful, or hmm, that's a bit tongue-in-cheek, or hmm, I'm a bit bothered by this. It, it, there's no point in me making work that doesn't at least generate something. They say that art is in the eye of the beholder. I say art is in the heart of the beholder. I wish for it to be a personal experience, unique from person to person. Professionally and personally, my goal with my work would be for people to connect with it and engage with it on some sort of personal or emotional or sentimental level and there have been a few occasions where a complete stranger has seen my work and has connected with it in such a way and they've come and spoken to me about it and it's just been the most incredible experience. If somebody 
see something from their own experience or connect with it based on something from their own experience, then that's ultimate. My job is now done and it's for the viewer to have their dialogue and their conversations about the work. I think generally I give them all the um, tools they need as um, part of the package or the way I like presenting my work is um, the painting and the tool, the stamp. So in a way you kind of got all the puzzle pieces to the mystery. Mystery is like magic and things like that, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm posing more question and throwing you in. Creating a dialogue and, and depicting that through body language and time and space through shadows and, um, and the magic that happens there and, and that's what I want people to take away from the art is, is the magic that happens. That's about it. <laughs>